A Shalom I'm going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakwadash and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this word. Shalom to the elect, because that's who these shows are for. This is a re upload on a brother's page, GMS Quam uh, Quam Baya. All right. It says, uh, re upload, it's June, ain't no microchip, Nathaniel of IUIC teaching lies, which a lot of you brothers should be familiar with this video. But being that we in the month of June 2020, the year of prophecy, which things are moving right along with prophecy, everything right now that's popping off is all a part of prophecy. Okay, I'm going to play a few seconds of this video, then I'm going to go into some information that I came across through the spirit and hit a couple of scriptures, man, to bring the point home. Okay, now dig this. Uh -huh. There goes Satan. Uh, let me see here. Give me that. You got it, you got it, Isaac? Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 22. When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass. We in June! Ain't no microchips! It's June! Got rid of cash um, for an entire month. Uh, didn't use any physical cards, so just digital means. Uh, and throughout the experiment, I wanted to push myself and try to find what's the furthest like, possible extent of this future of payments. And I found a guy who is chipping people in Sweden, and I, I went over to Sweden, and he did it. We in June! Ain't no microchips! It's June! Hey, man. So you can clearly see that Nate of the IUIC is looking like a fool, man, and a false prophet, man. Which I more than likely re-upload this video on my page, man. All right? But if... Uh, you're looking for the video is definitely on this brother's page, GMS Quam Quambaya. All right. So now let me um go into uh this uh site. A brother sent me a link to this. This is the United Nations site. Um it says United Nations New World Order. Let's take our planet back. All right, and dig this, man. These Edomites are coming out and announcing the New World Order. The United Nations New World Order Project is a global high-level initiative founded in 2008, 2008, which it's already been the inception, been in inception before 2008 because it's a generational goal of the elite to accomplish this New World Order, okay, which they're on the cusp of of accomplishing it man but when you read in the book of job 20 for those of you brothers that are in the know you know the heavenly father is going to carry that headlong it's not going to rule it's not going to be established to the capacity in which esau wants to establish it man it says to advance a new economic paradigm salakia all right it says to accomplish a new economic paradigm a new political order, and more broadly, a new world order for humankind, which achieves the UN's global goals for suitable, so like a sustainable uh, development by 2030. So this man is real optimistic with that timeline, man. He thinks he's going to go another 10 years. And when you read down, it says, and the happiness, wellness, so like your well-being and freedom of all life on earth by 2050. Okay? So this man is real optimistic, man. Here it is. We in the year, you know, 2020, the year of prophecy. He thinks he's going to go another 10 years to 2030. And uh, he's going to go another uh, uh, 30 years to 2050. Okay? Which, like the scripture says, he, he thinks this is his house shall... Uh, you know, continue forever and his dwelling places to all generations, which he's sadly mistaken. But going back to the the, uh, the topic of this chip, the mark of the beast, that's one of the strongholds of this new world order. They want to chip people, okay? Now, what it is, is that they getting into these vaccines real heavy, man. You know? Which, Muammar Gaddafi already said that, man. He said they're going to... um. You know, come out with a vaccine. They're going to create a virus, come out with a, act like they find an antidote, come out with the, a vaccine and charge people for it, which is why they whacked him out. He was revealing 
you know, the plans of the elites. Now, this is an article I came across. It's dealing with Texas. It says Texas anti-vaxxers fear mandatory COVID-19 vaccines more than the virus itself. It says a vaccine for the novel um, coronavirus is likely at least a year away, but the state's large anti-vaccine community is ready to resist it. See that? So there's going to be a resistance, man. You see what I'm saying? And I'll just read this here and I'll go into, um, you know, some other information and I'll go into the scriptures. It says on Friday, just after Governor George Salakia, Greg Abbott declared a statewide emergency in response to the coronavirus, Sarah posted a worried plea on a local anti-vaccine Facebook group. She worried that the declaration gives the government the right to force vaccinations on unwilling Texans, which that's going to happen. It's not going to only happen in Texas. It's going to happen all throughout this corporation, okay? This corporation of America, man. People are going to be forced into taking vaccines, and eventually people are going to be forced into taking the RFID microchip. Or perhaps, you know, you will suffer death, okay, for what you believe in, man. You see what I'm saying? Because that's going to be another option. Seeing that these elites are so boldly coming out saying, look, man, this is what we got in store, a new world order. All right. They may just come right out with it and say, look, if you don't take this chip, you're going to be put to death, man. You you looked as you looked at as as a, uh, you know, as being, um you know, subordinate and rebellious. We're going to put you to death. OK, that may may very well happen to a lot of you people out there because concentration camps are coming, man. Now, PSYOPs, which is a psychological op a psychological operations, is what's going on right now with all these different um riots, you know, due to this whole George Floyd thing. So I'll read it here. Psychological operations, PSYOPs, are operations to convey selected information and indicators to audiences to influence their emotions motives and objective reasoning and ultimately the behavior of governments it says um organizations groups and individuals so that's what esau is dealing with man okay he's dealing with psyops he's dealing with order ab ko he's dealing with hoax okay and that's how he's going to bring in this new world order uh, uh program that he wants to bring in man all right which the Heavenly Father is allowing him to do that, man. Because why? Because the Lord's about to come back, man. All right? You know, this is all This is all a part of prophecy, man. Psalms 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? And that's Esau, man. He frames mischief by a law. Now, here it is. You people are, you know, you all, you know, bent out of shape, you know, Prior to this whole coronavirus thing, you know, you people were all into sports and, and, and entertainment. You know, the whole circus, you know, the bread and circus, you know, just like they had in Rome. Now, here it is. While you were all entertained into that, they were passing legislation, you know, while while you, you're at Disney World or watching, you know, the Olympics or, or, you know, some kind of sporting event, man. This man has been framing mischief by a law. Okay putting legislation into place to come and take away your freedoms, man. This society, this so-called country is no longer free, okay? It says that they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous, which that's going to happen real soon. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they're going to come against you, man, real heavy. The time of Jacob's trouble is at hand. It says, and condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is my defense and my power is the rock of myself it's the rock of my refuge which david which i believe it was david okay which i believe it was david that uh spoke this uh sang this psalm guess what he's of the elect man and the most high is only going to defend the elect the two-thirds you're going to be left out there you niggas out there riding and, and stealing sneakers and, and and you know tvs and things of that nature the most high is going to destroy you niggas man Okay, it says, 
and he's going to defend his elect. It says, and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, our power shall cut them off, which ultimately is talking about Esau. But guess what? Two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, which is 66.6%, .6%, you are going to make that covenant with death and you're going to be cut off, man. Case in point, the Most High is only dealing with the elect, man. Okay? Now, I'm going to get this scripture and I'm going to close it, man. Let me see. Year of my redeemed. All right. Isaiah 63 and 4. No, actually, even right around here. Even right around here. Yeah, this whole chapter is good, but I'm going to just go get right to the point here. It says, for the day of vengeance is in my heart. That's what the Lord said, man. The day of vengeance is in his heart, man. So the Lord's vengeance is, is burning perpetually, man, to, to, to bring, you know, you know, uh, uh, that vengeance down on you so-called, you know, white people, you Edomites, along with you other nations and along with the two-thirds, man. All right? It says, and the year of my redeemed is come, which... Like I said, man, and like the apostle said, hey, this thing could go down 2021, 20, okay? Or at the end of this year. By the way, things are going. You know, these prophecies are no longer slacking. Scripture say, though, tarry, wait for it. Guess what, Nate? It's June, okay? You know? Hey, man, Nate is looking like a fool, man. He's looking like a real fool. Hey, but the elect, no, the elect will see the light in, in, in all the darkness, man. And those of you who are of the elect are going to wake up, okay? Hey, I'm going to say all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Rakaq, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Shalom to the elect.